Hi, Mom. Hello. How are you? Hello. You alright? Yeah, good, good. How, how do you get over? Yeah. Well, your sister dropped me off. Yeah. My name's Hi, Barry Lang. What I do is I'm a producer, manager. Um, I'm also, I think, uh, a therapist for all my artists because um, and I think I'm jack of all trades and master of none. I am the classic case. I don't know what I'm good at, but I do know that I must do some things right because we've had a bit of success. <laughs> my success goes back quite a long time. Um, but my first biggest international success was Amy Stewart's Knock on Wood, which was um, 15 million selling single and a four and a half million selling album. Um, and if anybody recalls that song, it had a massive amount of drums on it, in which the drum kit in the corner was key to it. I don't know if you can see the drum kit, but it's a bit of an artifact now, because we never use drums like that these days. It's all sampled and it's all put together like that. Marlene, you fancy a cup of tea? Thanks. All right. Marlene was fresh out of Sylvia Young <laughs> School, of which quite a few right. artists and actresses and what have you come, Marty McCutcheon, Emma Bunton from Space Girls. And um, it was just through a friend of a friend and she came along with her friend Kerry Potter and the, we, we formed a group called Evoke, which was basically a sort of dance orientated um, duo. And we had a couple of top 20 hits with Evoke. I always had a game plan for Marlene. I always believed that she had the ability, the look, the drive, the passion to be successful as an individual artist, you know, which is a cut above actually just being part of a group. Barry and Duncan, I've been working with them basically since then. And it's, it's a bit difficult sometimes because Barry makes me laugh in the studio when he starts freaking out, when he's done something that he really likes. Um, and I, I love working with them. It's really easy going, probably because it's been going for so long, but it's really fun working with them. Where we are right now is Barry's house and his studio. And this is where we've been recording the album, and this is probably where we will be recording everything else as well. <laughs> it's nice though, because obviously it's Barry's house, so there's no pressure of going into London or anything like that. <laughs> When we record a single, it always starts with a song. I mean, you've got to have a good song, otherwise you've got really nowhere to go. There is a pressure in the job to come up with, you know, something that's commercial. Um, but I don't really see that as a compromise because that's actually part of what I, what I like to do, you know. It's sort of getting something that's good, but which is also commercial as well. It's about 20 past Excuse me. <laughs> it takes a few days to record a single because I'll either get the giggles or I'll make it up in some way. If I can't kind of get the gist of the song or if I keep doing a line one, which I tend to do, but um, yeah, that's why it takes so long. <laughs> and there is one thing you must understand. I'll try to explain it in the best way that I can. He's not just privileged to hold your hand, but is one very lucky key man oh, a very lucky man a lucky man so don't come crying to me what we've done here is we've married I feel we've married her voice into something which is more distinctive it's it's I don't know what label you want to put on it if I was to describe it I would honestly have to say I'm, I'm not sure what category it fits into it's kind of like got its own sound so uh, basically it's it's music that but it makes me happy so I suppose it's pop really isn't it she's got American black vocals you know that that style of vocal in a more sort of pop um, mid-america folk rock I don't know what it is I mean I wouldn't like to put a label on it you're looking for... Hang on a minute. Let me just get rid of a bit of that. 
Yeah, Josh, give us the uh, give Nick cans a minute. Typical day for me is like this morning, I had to get up and go into the West End and have my hair done. So I have my head pulled about a little bit. Um, and then obviously come and, and do this. And tomorrow I'm doing my video, which I'm looking forward to. And tonight I've got a party to go to, which I'm going to have to go home really early. But that should be fun anyway, just to go and see, see who's there and meet people. It's different being a solo artist because when I was in the group with Kerry, I was quite shy, but now, being on my own, I, I can't just sit there and not say anything anymore. I actually have to do my little bit. Right, I'm at the Bloomsbury Theatre where I'm about to film my video, Step Away, and I was out last night, as you know, but I'm feeling really good this morning, so let's go and do it. So far today at the show, we've kind of basically just really got into doing what we're what, what we're doing. We've done a few of the wide shots, and we're just about to do the close-ups without having ladders on my head. And I mean, most important thing for me was I had lunch. That was good. <laughs> In the video I'm rehearsing for a show and it's going to show me and my man and then it's going to show me finding him cheating on me and finding another love, so it'll be quite fun. I think she's got the ability to be up there with Tony Braxton's, um, not in the same musical genre, but the Tony Braxton's, the Natalie Imbruglia, the, you know, the Whitney Houston, she's very much a young Whitney Houston to me. She's got all that maturity in her voice, and yet she's only young. So I think she's got tremendous potential. My hopes for the future are to obviously have success, but to not um, feel down in any way about what I'm doing. As long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, then I just want to go as far as I can go.